today, we're going to talk about the particles that make up solids, liquids, and gases. Particles are so tiny, we can't see them with our eyes. In fact, one grain of sugar is made up of millions of particles. Oh, that's awesome. When you see something solid, like your pencil or this apple, remember that those solids are made up of lots of particles that are close together. Let's start with a single grain of sugar. Why do you think this grain of sugar looks so smooth and shiny? If you could become one of the particles that make a grain of sugar. Cool. It's like I'm a particle, the checkered one, just like my dress. And look, there's Sam, the stripy one. If you could become one of the particles that make a grain of sugar, you would be neatly stacked. You would be moving a bit back and forth, but you would stay where you are. That's me, moving, the checkered one. The particles that make a grain of sugar are so neatly stacked that the outside of the grain is smooth. That's why sugar sparkles in the light. Sam, can you believe we're particles in a shiny grain of sugar? I like that we can wiggle a little, but I wonder why we don't just fall apart. There must be some force that keeps us together and makes us wiggle. Oh, wait! I think Mr. Watson is about to do something. Now I'm going to turn on the hot plate to warm the dish that contains the grain of sugar. Let's see what happens. Hey! The heat from the dish is making me move faster. Sam, are you moving faster? Whoa, yeah, I got bumped, and now I'm starting to move faster, too. Huh, I was just bumped so hard that I got knocked out of my place in the stack. Look, the whole stack is coming undone and moving a little faster. It's flowing like a liquid. Bye, Patty. I've been bumped free, so I might not see you for a while. Notice that when the grain of sugar melts, the particles stay together to form a pool of liquid. They move around each other a little faster, but don't completely break apart from each other. The particles are still held close together by a force. Hey, Patty. Sam, you're back. I'm so glad we're still part of this liquid together. It's nice being a liquid and flying around, but I'm kind of kind of bored in this dish. I want to see what's going on outside of here. Well, Mr. Watson is never boring. I bet he has something fun planned for us. Let's see what happens when I turn up the hot plate to make it hotter. Whoa, we are being hit by really fast particles, which are making us move faster too. I don't think we can stay together with this going on. So, as the hotter dish makes the sugar particles move even faster, all those sugar particles that make up the liquid break apart and fly off above the dish as a gas. Woohoo! I'm moving so fast that I'm not attached to anyone. I'm free! Sam, you're part of a gas. But we're spread out so much, I might not see you again. Sure you will. In just a minute, the really hot dish will make you move faster and become part of the sugar gas, just like me. Bye, Sam. I hope I see you again. So. That's how a grain of sugar, a solid, can become a liquid and then a gas when it's made to move faster and faster by the heat from the hot plate. Wow, that was fun. But I worry that all the gas particles won't see each other again. Well, maybe yes, maybe no. There may be a way to get them back together. Patty, how do you think we could get the gas particles to change back into a liquid? 